Hey everybody, I was uh, filming a video segment here about Traveling Robert's Pelicamp 2 down there in Florida and uh, his new video up on that. When right in the middle of what I was filming, uh, the whole building started to shake. Uh, just, it was very sudden, very quick. It's just a couple seconds and I don't know, hey, whatever. Anyway, so uh, I, I, I'll show you the video here. We'll start, show, I'll run the video and then we'll, you'll see where the earthquake happens. But anyway, I checked back uh, with USGS, and look at that. Yes, a 2.7 earthquake, five kilometers north of Mer Morganton, North Carolina, where I'm, where I am. Holy cow! So yeah, did I feel it? Yes, I did feel it. I felt it. <laughs> wow. Anyway, that's crazy, huh? I don't know, man. I don't know. Let watch the video and then uh, get into that. So, but I, you know, amazing. I've actually was filming up again. Wow. Anyway, check it out. Hey, we got a very interesting video here from Travel and Robert. Yeah, he is uh, building Pelicamp. It is a plot of land. I think he said it was an acre or so, right? Where he's building a campsite and it's getting all tricked out in the uh, Big Bend of Florida. You know, that's that part of Florida that's kind of. Uh, you know, you have the southern peninsula, and then you have the northern panhandle, whatever, and it's kind of right in the middle there, right near the water, Gulf of Mexico, and, uh, you know, it's, it, and it, it's very good. This is actually part two of the video. It goes for an hour and two minutes, but uh, amazing, amazing what he's done on this land. Uh, started out, I guess, started out the work back in March, and then he finishes up, finishes it up in uh, June. So March, April, May, June, took him three or four months to do it all, but it's really very cool. This is uh, pretty much the final project here. He has a main road here, and then he put in this road around here with a circular little drive and a campsite and uh, some, you know, so some friends can come and stay here and some, some other places and stuff. So he's got, you know, potentially some other campsites in here and power, water. Anyway, it's just, it's amazing. It's amazing. Uh, let's see, North Florida Forest, it's called Pelicamp. I think he said that he's thinking about putting Pelicamps in in other parts of the country. This will be Pelicamp Southeast, and maybe he'll have a Pelicamp out West. Anyway, uh, Pelican, Pelicamp, I guess, anyway. So they cleared the land, uh, put in a ditch for the power lines, put in underground power lines from the main power pole. Then he put in a breaker box and all that stuff and a, and a, and a meter. Dug a well. First the, first, the water was very uh, muddy, but then it cleared up. Put in a septic tank, a fence, plus a gate. Now, that's a thing. You know, we talk about some of these other nomads that have camps, you know, like Panda Land, you know. Put in a fence and a gate. You know, you need some security, right? Whoa. You felt that, but uh, I think I was recording when we had an earthquake. I really do. I'm talking about uh, Traveling Robert's wonderful little campsite there. Uh, oh man, and it, it sounded like it sounded like a clap of thunder, but the whole building shook for oh just a couple seconds. It wasn't very long. Wow. Anyway, put in a, a septic tank, a fence and a gate, a tool shed, driveway and sewer lines, and it looks really nice, doesn't it? Okay, so there. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna go check in a second and see if there was a real earthquake here here in Western North Carolina. At least I was actually, you know, I've had, I've experienced earthquakes in Northern Virginia and Dave and one down here last year, but I've never had the camera running while I'm actually doing it. Holy cow! Whoa! Well, there we go. Look at that. <laughs> there are reports of shaking in the Morganton area. Check about soon. Check about soon. An earthquake. Android earthquake alerts system. Woo! I, I checked. I checked our Android earthquake alerts, and they did have a. They did have a seismic thing going on. Yeah, oh, I checked really? it on my computer. Yeah. Okay, so I was just wondering about. I, it sounded like uh, something exploded there. It was really fast. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. So I felt like something hit the building or something. So. I, I thought so too. Maybe someone hit a power pole or something. The power pole. Yeah. 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 yeah, it was some sort of, some sort of seismic activity. Yeah. Okay. I don't know, just wandering around the building here. <laughs> just saw a guy come from the city hall over there, said they felt it over there too, so he thought it was an, yeah, it sounded like an explosion or maybe a, 
a big bolt of it, it, it was weird. It, it made a thunderous noise, but it didn't feel like thunder. It, it sounded to me like an explosion. I thought something blew up like, I don't know, man. I don't know. Anyway, nothing else to report at the second. I'm just I'm walking around the building. Surprisingly, very few people. I were getting rains from Hurricane or Tropical Storm Fred today. That was wild. I don't know. There's a cool car. <laughs> Tropical storm, hurricane wave, plus that earthquake all on the same day. What else? What else? Well, here we go. USGS map, five miles north of Morganton, North Carolina. Uh, 2.7, which is not pretty much a big one. But there's our red dot. Holy cow. USGS, yeah. Uh, we got we got hurricanes here in uh, Nevada and uh, I don't know Oklahoma, Italy, Fiji, and then Morganton, North Carolina, five kilometers north of town. We felt that it just felt like a big sudden boomy, 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 and there we are, a little red dot. Holy cow! Well, I don't know, man. I don't know. Holy K, holy cow, okay, anybody, well, I don't know, man, I at least was recording when it happened, I usually, you know, last time we had an earthquake was, the, I think it was about a year ago, and it was a Sunday morning, and I was just watching YouTube videos, now that earthquake, the whole building shook for about 30 seconds, it felt almost like I was on water, this one just felt like a big boom, it almost felt like thunder, you know, and then the building kind of shakes a little bit, uh, but, uh, you know, or it sounded like maybe an explosion or maybe sometimes a car wreck. If you have a car wreck nearby, a car hits a, a pole or something, you hear a bang and a kind of a shake. It kind of sounded like that. My first instinct was not an earthquake, but it was kind of sharp. Kind of a sharp, you know, anyway. I don't know, man. Well, you, you're along for the ride. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll let you know more if I hear it. I'm sure we will. Vlog under.